Highly favored. Thanks for joining me on the Healing Streams Reflections. The title for today's post is Don't Trust in Your Strength. The psalmist in Psalm number 107 verse 23 to 32 says those who go down to the sea in ships who do business on great waters they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep For he commands and raises the stormy wind which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. Their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble and he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired heaven. Verse 31 and 32. All oh, that men and women will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. And for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 32, let them exalt him also in the assemble of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. This is the word of the Lord. Friends, these were men who trusted in their strength and might hence went deep in the sea and the air so much self-confidence and neglect the guidance of God but got into trouble and remembered God and cried to God And sailors safely brought to their destination by this wonderful Almighty God. Beloved, God keeps us safe in the storm. And even in the storm of life. The summit saw that life is filled with sudden storms. Yet God is still master of them. Even though decisions can take you out of God's will, especially wrong decisions, Wrong choices can take you out of God's will and God's way. However, they can never remove you from the reach of God. He gives us guidance. 
and restores what the evil one destroys. When we turn again to him, giving us liberty, giving us direction, giving us health, and giving us safety. The reason we can dwell on in our strength, the reason we can dwell in our confidence to excel, let alone our experiences, except trusting in God's presence and power, and by so doing, we can rest peacefully in the knowledge that God is with us. Beloved, those who have never truly suffered may not appreciate God as much as those who have matured under hardship, under persecutions, under trials and tests. Moreover, those who have seen God work in times of distress have a deeper insight into God's love and kindness. Especially those who have experienced great trials. You have the potential to offer him thanksgiving and praise for that reason the psalmist declared in verses 31 to 32 oh that man will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man Yes, thanksgiving. He deserves it from a grateful heart. He deserves it from a humble and a contract and a broken spirit. He deserves it from those who see themselves As those vessels who must decrease so that God will increase. Yes. He deserve more than even our thanksgiving. He deserves. Our sacrifice of praise. That is the Lord we are serving. He's a good God. He cares. He loves you. And he loves me. Faithful God indeed. Therefore, the 32nd Verse of Psalm number 107 declared, Let them exalt him also in the assemble of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. Hallelujah. My dear brother, my dear sister, beloved, what a miraculous God we say. Indeed, he deserves our praise and worship. He deserves all the glory that is due unto his majestic name. He 
he desire. All in all. Nothing else but all in all. Friends, trust the presence and the power of Jesus in the midst of life's storms because he cares. Oh, he cares. He cares. God's way is the right way to go. Why? Because he turns blight to beauty. He turns waters into desert. And flowing springs into dry, dusty ground. What a wonderful God we say. You are good God, O oh Lord. Receive your praise. Receive your glory. Receive your honor. King of kings and Lord of lords. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The ultimate finish of our faith. All powerful God. All knowing God. Ever present God. Beloved, worship and adore him today. Thanks for listening and stay blessed. Bye for now.